Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to König and Bauer Live. I'm a bit sad today because it's already the last day in our, let's say, Drupal alternative we created here at König and Bauer. But I'm very happy too because today we will show you a new machine and very good presentation and uh, we will talk about commercial printing today. But before we do that in our little live show, I would like to introduce to you Ralf Samek. You already know him if, when, when you watched this format the last days. He is uh, the CDO of König and Bauer and the CEO of König and Bauer Schiedfeld. Ralf, great that you're here again. Thank you very much, Sven. To be honest, I think I will miss you. So I really enjoyed here our little talks and First of all, thank you so much on all of you, all our customers. Even on the last day, you, you are still in touch with us. And by the way, we got great feedback for our event here. And I think this was really a good decision that we, uh, that we did this and in a digital form. Because to be honest, over the last years, we were so excited and our R&D department, all my, my whole team, We were creating so many new ideas, brand new machines, new service offerings. And then Drupal was postponed. And as you can imagine, for us, this was really difficult. So therefore, we decided we wanted to do this. And now getting the feedback from our customers that they're really enjoying it and that they see also what König and Bauer can offer, not only on the machine side, also with our service offerings, with digitalization. So I'm very happy. And again, thank you so much that you are stay tuned with us. And today is unfortunately our last day, but I'm sure we will see each other again. And today is commercial day. And I can promise you also, if you see our commercial offering, our machines, you will be delighted and therefore I'm looking forward to our last, but also very exciting day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ralf, and I'm sure I'll miss you too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, commercial printing, that's what we are going to talk about the next, let's say, 20 minutes. We will show you a lot of new innovations and you will see the brand new Rapida 106X running live. Dirk Winkler is here with me now. He is head of print technology at König and Bauer Schiedfett. Dirk, nice to meet you again. Hello, Sven, nice to meet you. And congratulations to this awesome CEC you got yeah, here. Yeah, and it's all new, brand new. So, I'm really pleased to welcome you here to the opening of our newest customer experience center on Radebeul. This brand new packaging competence center is filled up with the newest and latest technology for packaging production. But our focus today is commercial print. Commercial printing, online printing, so we will focus all day on that type of production. What are we going to do now? We got about 15 minutes. What yep. will happen now? So we have uh, prepared a huge bunch of jobs. So we have a job pool of eight very complex, typical commercial and web to print jobs, eight jobs. So we are going to start in a full autonomous workflow to produce eight jobs in less than 20 minutes. Okay. So the first job is uh, a brochure we are going to produce on offset paper, three signatures, one after, each, one after the other. The second job range is job number four to job number six is our magazine on 150 gram art paper. Mm -hmm. The seventh job is our newest flyer for fact sheets. And the last job is on 300 gram cardboard postcards. So a full range of commercial jobs For and you're going industry. to print it now live in about the next 15 minutes? Correct. Okay, how do we start? Yeah, before we go to the production, and you are welcome to follow up our production uh, sequence, first of all, we will start in our new production planning center. Now, already Chris is waiting for us, and he will explain a bit more about our strategy in the complete Koenig and Bauer workflow before we are going to start our production. Okay, look, I would propose you just take the audience with you to Chris, yeah. and I will just already leave this hall, go to the next hall to the machine, and wait there with Sasha until your job is going to be sent there. That's and a then good we'll idea. start the print. That's a good idea. See you later. See you later.
Hi, Chris. Hi, Dirk. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good. Uh, we have a tough day, so um, let's speak about what is your preparation for our job pool today. We've been very busy, uh, like always, uh, because you have, you have foreseen a very, very sportive and comprehensive program. So I have configured this job package of eight jobs in our MIS and pre-planned pre them. The list I have sent it to our new MAS portal. And here you can see the sequence that we have planned. Uh, the question is, is our new Rapida going to produce the jobs like given from the MIS, or is there a better way, a smarter way to produce the jobs? And as you know, there, there is, is a, a better way. And just when everybody thought the potential for new and more make ready savings is just exhausted, our R&D has developed a totally new feature inside our MIS system. Exactly how it is. And uh, these savings uh, we're talking about, they are very important for our customers to be competitive and to earn a good money in commercial print. How we do that? Let's have a closer look on it. In our job optimizer, which is the bridge between the production planning and control software and the MIS, um, we do an optimization in two more optimization runs. One optimization run is based on equipment specific programs. How is the machine equipped? SPC or not? Can mm -hmm. run parallel processes? Or how is the machine, uh, or, or the print technical programs like format, coating, uh, quality issues? Can I come from one form to the other with clean printing instead of a wash up? Mm -hmm. So these two runs, they we take into account, and let's see if we have an optimized list right now. Here we are. Seven minutes savings in a job block of 26 minutes. That's, that's quite that's, impressive. That's so impressive. seven minutes. Awesome. Yeah, seven Only minutes. At, make, at a make ready time. Only at a make ready. That's impressive. So the new sequence is submitted to Logotronic. So Logotronic provides the machines with with the job programs, and also submitted to the prepress system to produce, to expose the plates just in sequence. Makes sense. Thank you very much, Chris. And okay. I guess the whole job pool of these eight challenging jobs is already prepared and digital sent to the machine. Okay. So we are going later to the machine, and we are going to print eight jobs in a sequence, and we are going to print 300 sheets per job in one run. So thank you, Chris, for your preparation. Welcome. And I'm really glad to announce now the new next point. Dear guests, we will now experience the world premiere of our new Rapida 106. This is the highlight of our today's session, Koenig and Bauer Live. We know that highest productivity, shortest make ready times, and highest automation are the key for your success. Over the past five years, and also based on feedback from you, our customers, we have developed the press from scratch. We have questioned a lot of things. We have improved things that we are already very good. And we have added new functions to the press that are only available from Koenig and Bauer. And we've put focus on bringing the operation concept to the next level in close cooperation with our customers. The result is a whole new press generation, the absolute benchmark in its class. The result is the fastest perfecter on the market. The result is a whole new dimension for sheet fed printing presses, a press which will make you even more successful. Our new Rapida 106X. And because we didn't want to wait until Trupa 2021, we are excited to present our new Rapida 106X 8 color today. And it's a pleasure for me to hand over now to Sasha and Sven.
Well, thank you, Dirk, and thank you, Chris, for all the print jobs. Well, this is it, the brand new baby from König and Bauer. And this is him, Sascha Fischer. He is head of product management here at König and Bauer Sheetfeld in Radebeul. Sascha, congratulations to the new family member. Well, thank you very much, Sven. It's with great pleasure to present this new masterpiece of König and Bauer Sheetfeld. It's really a new generation of the 106. And we listened carefully to our customers uh, over the recent month and obviously looked what still is there to improve. And on the bottom line comes down to productivity, meaning short make readies, faster speeds, uh, be safe in the process with regards to inspection and so on, uh, lower maintenance and digitalization on the whole. So all in all, yes, it's a new, really new performance uh, benchmark here. Well, it sounds still very theoretical, Sasha. So I, I would say, let's give us a little walk through maybe or maybe a walk along and let's let the machine print great let's jump uh, straight into the uh, into the machine if we look at here it's our proven trivtronic feeder and uh, what have we done here first of all we have optimized the curve of the sheet separator uh, to make sure even with heavier materials we have a clear separation of the sheet uh, even at those high speeds up to 20,000 uh, sheets power if we move along so this is our first job starting to print now this fully is automatically. This is the first job, uh, starting automatically without the run. We'll discuss that and explain that later. If we look inside the feed, inside uh, the feeder, here we have our new motorized tech rollers, meaning you can adjust them in a the drop changeover directly from the console, which makes life a lot easier depending on the substrate. And then obviously inside here, we have, I would say, already our proven uh, SIS, meaning side lay free in feed system, no pneumatics, nothing maintenance free, and we are sure every sheet arrives 100% inside the machine. So, a lot of new feeder features. Yes. There are a lot of printing units. Do we have any news on them? Why, well, obviously. Go on there. So, if we take a look into the print unit itself. We start on the top, we have our specially coated ink ducts, easy clean, which makes changing an ink uh, very comfortable, very fast, uh, less than uh, two minutes, I would say, to change from one ink to the other in the ink duct. On the top, you can nicely see the ink is such bubbling. Uh, well, it's a bubbly ink duct, you could say, or we call it pneumatic ink duct. This gives us a more or less maintenance-free ink duct without the risk of losing the zones even with high viscosity inks. So this is a very new feature. Uh, moving further down, we have our SRW, simultaneous roller wash. This roller wash now is a brand new feature, also works while an interdeck dryer is active. So especially if you have UV applications, you can wash there with a disengaged uh, ink train, which is standard at Königbauer, while you produce another job. Uh, SRW comes with up to four medias, meaning also there, if you have changing applications, uh, you have different solvents in your circuits, uh, up to a deep cleaning of UV rollers. Uh, on top, uh, it's normal for us uh, that we have a program-supported uh, roller adjustment. So again there, it helps the printer making the necessary uh, adjustments uh, quite easily. For changing applications, we also now have DuraPrint rollers uh, for longer life and less washing times. So everything is in there. Last but not least, uh, we have our Cleantronic washing devices, cloth-based. So you could either have a blanket wash, a combi wash, or with Cleantronic Synchro, also have a parallel washing of the blankets and the impression cylinders in a very short amount of time. So, Sasha, all these simultaneously running things is very important for short makeovers. We were talking about the washing and already saw the plates changing simultaneously. What else is possible? Well, this machine is equipped with SPC, our direct drive technology at the plate cylinder. So, while we change plates, the machine is ready to do other things. So, we have reduced the plate changing times. We're now well below a minute for changing one, two, three, up to eight or 10 plates in the machine. And while we do that, we can wash. Uh, on top, SPC already could do 
a paper stretch compensation. And on top now, we also have a pneumatic plate stretching here in this machine, like we have in the large format. Well, we have very small makeover times, only about a minute for a plate change and eight plates to change. Yes. But we still got human beings as printers or as operators. How do you support them? Well, it's, it's absolutely right. I mean, uh, the helper here is its stress. Especially if you see in today's world, the run length getting shorter and shorter. So we have thought, what could we do to help the helper? And here we've came up with a new, brand new plate logistics system, meaning without handling the plates, these plates are automatically from the CTP transported into the machine, loaded into the machine and taken out again. And I think they are best to explain as we watch a little video there. We've taken out one of our first customers. So if you look at that uh, video there, you can see already after the plates have been imaged, they are temporarily stored in a pile, in a plate stacker, where from the plate stacker then, upon demand, they are taken out, automatically put in a transport system and transported to the machine, to the individual units, on top of the plate changing mechanism, where then they are loaded automatically as new plates and the old plates are taken out and take the strap. It's a very versatile and very modular system. So it doesn't matter if you've got two CTPs feeding into one transport system or this transport system feeding two, three or four machines. It's uh, highly automated. You don't need to manually interfere, touch the plates at any time. And the plates are never touched or taken on the image side. So there is also no risk of scratching. There is no risk in the manipulation of the plates. And uh, along with this, we've also looked at those processes outside of the machine. And one, for example, now on this machine, we don't use any bent plates anymore. So there is no need to bend the plates, meaning again, easy handling, you save that manual benching, uh, bending process, and obviously no uh, risk of scratching them. Well, so the operator, the printer, has a lot of spare time now. What is he doing there? Cooking coffee? Well, I wouldn't call it spare time, but getting focused on his main task. And his main task is obviously to keep this machine running. As you can see, we're running 20,000, and we're changing from one job to the other within a minute, two minutes. So it needs to focus that the machine is running. And in order to support them, we've come up with highly efficient systems. What do I mean by that? Well, first, if you look here, in between the units, uh, we have our Qualitronic color control. Next generation, new hardware. We are using a 4K camera there, looking inside to the machine and taking a picture of every sheet. Every sheet is taken and after 10 sheets we run and we already control color on a running average. But not only do we take this picture for color measurement and control, we also take that for inspection purposes, meaning every sheet then at 20,000 sheets an hour is compared to the good master sheet or to the original PDF a customer has supplied. So it's called PDF check. So again there, every fault on a sheet is identified, protocoled, and then obviously reported in a quality report towards the end customer. Well, so the job of the operator is to keep the machine running. Yes. 24-7 if possible, Yes. but how do you care for the machines? This is one important also uh, feedback we got from our customers, maintenance. So, I mean, they say, well, listen, your machine is so productive, we want to keep it running 24-7. Uh, what can we do on maintenance? Now, what we've done in this new uh, delivery we talk about uh, in a minute, we have optimized the lubrication of the chain, but also we have looked at each of the lubrication points in the machine and try to centralize them, uh, try to automate the lubrication process by progressive uh, distribution and by pumps. On top of that, also optional, you can have this machine with gripper bars who are long life lubricated. These are sealed bearings and you don't need to lubricate them over the lifespan. So again, we've cut down, for example, on a six coater, we've cut down the individual lubrication points by about 200, a little bit more than 200. So it makes it much easier, much faster in maintenance. 
Well, there's one other thing brand new, which falls into the eye whenever you see the machine, even from far. New lights. Yes. But this is not only ambient light, so there's something behind it. Well, it's not just about the new design, but let me talk about our delivery as such first, before we go into the light here. Now, the delivery here you see is next generation Airtronic. We've optimized the sheet travel and the dryer configuration, be it for infrared, hot air, or UV, to ensure even with thin papers or varnish applications, they have a perfect drying result and delivery. Uh, in, and uh, delivery in the pile. Now, regarding the lights, what you can see here is the status of the machine. So, with a glimpse of, a, of an eye and instantly in your press room, you can see what is the status on the machine. Uh, but I think even more important that this, it's a light because if something is, is needs manual intervention, you still need to go to the machine sure. to find out what it is. Uh, we obviously have developed the Rapid Eye app. So you can use uh, smartphones uh, to really have the machine in your pocket. Uh, for one, for example, we have all what is on the console, job running, how long is it running, how fast is it running, how much time is left for the next job, what is the next job on there. So the printer, even if he's busy doing other things, he always has a reference to his uh, machine. And secondly, what is the production app? We can have uh, consumable tracking we can have a serial number of the consumers in there per job. We could have uh, blankets. If you change needs to change blanket, how long is the blanket there? Even the inks, we can measure on the uh, area coverage on the sheet, how many sheets are left before the printer needs to go to printing number unit number three, refill the magenta. So that's all tracked in there and warehousing and so on. So I think with this, you always have the machine in your pocket. No yeah, that's like a whole cockpit console in your pocket. It's a whole control console in the pocket. On top, we use it for service purposes. Now, obviously, everybody's using that for video chats, WhatsApp, and so on. So, we just came up with a solution where we use this smartphone in a service instance, where our hotline people, be it free from Germany or from agencies, can look through the eyes of the operator into the machine. So, if something's wrong, we activate the camera, we look inside the machine, we can guide him, where to look for. What so the customer the doesn't have to explain, he can show exactly. the problem. We show it, we can indicate it, we take a video, we can take this video obviously with the permission of the customer and send this video to the service engineer so before he goes on site he even knows, he already knows what's on. So he already has the spare parts with him, he knows what to do and on, on you go directly. You already mentioned the console. There is a new, a brand new console too, Definitely. so let's go there. Let's go ahead and I'll right. hand you over to Dirk to explain our new control console. Yeah, the only old part in the new console it's is Dirk. <laughs> hey Dirk, nice to Hi see again. you again. Tell us something about the new cockpit, the new console. Yeah, it's not only the new console, you, as you have seen, we have a totally new and innovative machine design. Beside that, our designers have developed a brand new, new operating console. Because we have the opinion for such a modern, innovative and fast machine, you need also a new operating concept and a new design. As you can see, we have a new and enhanced wall screen. This wall screen has a huge functionality compared to previous series. So Sebastian, as our printers, as you can see, He's only observing the whole process because the whole drop pool we are operating in auto run mode is operated and autonomously printed by the machine. So the new wall screen is showing him all procedures actually running and the remaining time all the procedures do take until they are finished and the machine is going to back into the production mode again. Additional to that, we have a new LED lightning on our operating console. So independent of the time, day or night, we always have a norm light, standardized norm light. Additional to that, to follow up our philosophy, the new touch screen has a feature auto run. So all the whole drop pool sequences are pre-programmed before and Sebastian is only observing the right sequence and 
Sometimes he has to take a visual view on the sheets to observe the quality of the production. Well, Dirk, before we take a look on our printed jobs, let's talk a bit about quality control because this is what happens here is way too fast for a human eye, even for such a great eye as Sebastian got. Yes, you're right. As you can see, we are just producing with 20,000 sheets an hour, which is the fastest perfecting machine in the world. Yes. So at this speed, which is about six meters per second, no human being is able to observe the quality sheet by sheet. So as Sasha explained already, we are using for our color control, our newest Qualitronic color control next generation, which is the only system is able to measure every single sheet, independent of quality, independent of speed of the machine. So we are observing and measuring every sheet and every 10 sheets the machine is controlling and balancing the color. Second, we also have a fully autonomous and fully automatic register control. This, com this machine is equipped with two double camera systems and these camera systems, they are measuring during the make ready and during the production every time the right register of the separation. So we are fully autonomously control the register as well. Fully automatic process, Qualitronic ICR. And the most important development in the quality components is our Qualitronic PDF check. So if you imagine there are some failures, they are, can occur in the pre-press, they can occur during the transportation of plates, whatever can happen, there are, can be some failures in the production. So what the machine is doing, our camera system is checking during the make ready a final sheet and is comparing the sheet to the PDF. And this is a high resolution PDF in the pre-press. So this is the released PDF from the customer. So as soon as there is no failure on the PDF check, the press is releasing the production fully automatic according to the readings during the PDF check. Then the machine starts the good sheet production and we are using the same system for a full production control. So we are switching over from PDF check to full sheet inspection and we are really able to con inspect every single production sheet and we compare it against the reference sheet created during the make ready process. So we got the highest possible quality in the fa worldwide fastest time. That's correct. Okay, that's great. The machine is still working. Yes. Remember, we had about eight jobs, uh, eight eight jobs. jobs to print. So I think we got some time. We asked you to ask us some questions. So I'll just let me pass some questions you already asked. Can we get the questions, please? Hey, Sasha again. Hey there. Well, okay. Um, here's the first question, guys. How long does it take on average from the last good sheet of the previous job to the first good sheet of the new job? Well, obviously it depends on the jobs and the quality level, but best in class, it takes from the last good sheet of the last job to the first good sheet of the next job, one minute, 50 seconds. And that does include plate changing, that does include the short blanket wash, and then obviously the race sheet, the run-up sheets before you into the good sheet. Okay, that's quite fast. And the next question quite fits into it because the next question is how many waste sheets do I have to count uh, with on average for a typical web to print application? So how many waste sheets? It's a very good question. A typical commercial printer or web to print printer is printing four over four and has to fulfill certain quality standards. And according to the quality standard, we can assume that we need between 25 and 50 sheets for runner waste. That's the only runner waste we are going to consume. Okay, so this is very sustainable because very not so much paper and, and substrate. Paper, paper is the most costly uh, consumable in the pro print production, so it makes sense to save them even during the week ready. Okay, the, the time is still going down, so we got uh, time for one more question. Oh, okay, this one's good. Do you actually have an overview of how many prints per year run on your commercial presses and how many job changes can be realized on a typical 4 over 4 press? Well, due to the digitalization, Königenbau 4.0, we have exact analytics. 
So with the customer's permission, we can know, uh, based on the log files, what is their production performance. And typically, four over four machines in the commercial area can run uh, 90 million or more sheets per year. Now that's obviously depending on the job structure. If you've got a lot of small jobs, uh, short runs, you need more make ready, more to job change over times. But then again, uh, we've got customers who do about 6,300 jobs or 3.3 million impressions per month. So that's, uh, I think, a very impressive figure. That's if you look at a monthly, yeah. monthly basis there, and obviously if you add that up over a year, this is a very productive beast. So, um, we had to print about eight jobs. Yeah. We already we see some of them. the last one. Yeah, okay, so let's start at the first ones and let's have a look on them. Yeah. Okay, while running the job number eight, the last job of the whole series, we have printed the first three signatures on our image brochure on 80 gram uncoated paper. The second jobs we have printed is job number four to job number six. Three signatures of our magazine. Job number seven, we have printed our flyer, which is a fact sheet for our roller die cutter. And now the last job, job number eight, the sheet is already there, is our postcards. So we were ready to run eight jobs. In about with, in 16, about or 16 minutes. minutes. And the very good thing, you, you always saw me playing with my tablet around. I have a very good new tool for every production manager. This is our Logatronic cockpit. During the co busy cockpit, I can continuously in real time check out what is my OEE, my overall equipment efficiency. Uh -huh. So this is a very good measure and parameter for measuring the effectiveness of the whole production. Second, I have a total overview about my benchmark process because we set up a benchmark process in terms of make ready times and net output for each single machine. And this Logotronic cockpit is measuring in real time the effectiveness of the production. Looks like a perfect tuning tool for all these tuning guys. Well, in the end, it's all about the money, Dirk. Yeah. So did I make some euros here printing eight jobs in 16, 17 minutes? Yes, we did. As you could see, there's our uh, cost sheet. And Chris was doing a pre-calculation, as we have seen in our production planning management system. And he's doing a post-calculation. And the post-calculation shows us that we saved in less than 20 minutes in the last production slot 93 euro production cost. And if you calculate that for the whole yearly production, this is a big bunch of money. Okay, so we saved some money. Yes. We saved a lot of time, guys. Maybe we just should grab a coffee and a piece of cake or something. But Good idea. Before doing that, I would like to thank you for the demonstration on thank the you. press. And I would like to thank you for watching us here at König and Bauer Live the last two weeks. I hope we all see us in April 2021 in Düsseldorf at Drupa Live. And if you can't get there or it's too long to wait, just make an appointment here. Come here to the brand new CEC and see these wonderful machines running live. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.